artista, tú eres un artista. All right, so with this piece, we're going to think about this place as a habitat. So just like Congaree National Park is the home to animals like snakes and lizards, this place is probably the habitat for a lot of different animals. So if we look at this scene, can you imagine what kinds of animals might make this place its home? Well, let's look at some details. We've got the water here. We know it's a river because the title is the river bank. We see some trees. If we look really closely, we can see some little birds flying away from those trees in the distance. But what else do you think might be living in a place like this? Well, I bet there's probably some fish living in this river. I see some lily pads here in the foreground. That makes me think that maybe there are some frogs or some dragonflies that we might find there. So a lot of animals probably live in this place, but there's one more animal that we do see, and that is our human animals. So we see some people. They're a little bit smaller since they're in the middle ground there. They're a little smaller and harder to see, but there are some people in there. So let's also think about how people have impacted this landscape. We can see that people are living here. I see a little house here to the right. I see some more buildings off in the distance back in the background. So we know that people are living here. How do you think they might have changed their environment? What impact do you think they might have had on this place? Well, if we look really closely, we can see up on this hillside, it looks like there's some fields where maybe they're plowing um, to grow food. So maybe they cut down some trees or they cleared some areas so that they could do that. I see that there's a path. So again, maybe they cleared some grass or some plants to make a path or a road. So people have had an impact on this environment, but there's a way to do that so that you can still have animals living there and everyone kind of lives nicely together. But this landscape gives us an idea about habitats, about what kinds of animals and people live in places in the natural world, and what details we can see that artists have showed us in the foreground, the middle ground, and way in the background. All right, so now we're gonna head to the studios where we're gonna make our own landscapes. Let's go.